Yo, what it do guys, and welcome back to another video. Recently, I've been training my new necromech, the Bone Widow. Now, being a melee class on a heavy machine, she is quite slow in combat, in comparison to the Void Rake mech, in which turns into a turret and absolutely nukes everything. So I asked myself about affinity, and the way that it's distributed. Then I came to a question I didn't know the answer to. If I kill an enemy with my Warframe, but switch into my mech, where does the affinity go? One would assume it would go to the Warframe, but since we can only control one of something, like a Warframe, an Operator, a Mech, or an Arcwing, then it really became more of a question of something that I wanted to test. With all this being said, I took an Octavia into a mission, I threw her Mallet out, which is her first ability, and I sat in my Mech as enemies killed themselves onto the Mallet. I just soaked up all of the affinity. So due to this slow and sluggish style Bone Widow has, most people have been training through Fermia Fractures, using their art guns. But the issue is, there are boons of magnetic procs that it sends out every so often, so this would make any Warframe ability stop in its tracks. We want to try to avoid nullifiers at all costs. So instead, we lined up a Profit Taker Bounty, brought in four Necromechs to go AFK, brought in three Octavias as damage dealers, and one Wisp for survivability to our Warframes and Companions. The Octavias were to use their first and fourth ability, scaled with range and duration. When Mallet is used, it attracts enemies to attack it, but it stores and reflects damage ramped up over time, back to them and other enemies in range. When paired with Amp, it reaches double the size. As for our Wisp, she had to use her reservoirs, keeping the vitality mode alive for our health and for Octavius when they needed to jump out of the mech to recast their abilities again. This will also help your Smita Kavat stay alive so they can go ahead and continue to proc charms. Now because Profit Taker is an endless fight, enemies are not scaling, but simply respawning over and over again. And they're a good level as well, which is around level 50, so this basically means good XP returns. They will die extremely fast to the mallets. Now keep in mind, you do want to try and survive as well, so you don't want to remain in line of sight of the Profit Taker. Try to hide behind a tree or a mountain or something. From here onwards, we just sit in our mechs and soak. It's quicker because Octavia can kill faster and reach further than the Arc Guns, and Bone Widow doesn't have the luxury to reach as far nor keep up in DPS either. Now mind you, the Void Rig mech with the Archibex doesn't need to train like in this option that you're seeing here. It is a killer in its own right, so this method of training is mostly for the Bone Widow. Whether or not this is intended, I'm unsure. We've had conversations on my stream about affinity being shared among Warframe with weapons, but this is slightly a different case, which involves your Warframe using its own ability, but then switching into something different, like a mech, and then basically sitting there somewhat AFK. I'm not entirely sure if this is the idea or vision D had in mind with the mechs to be leveled up, as it lacks engagement and even involvement of the mech. It's just basically a soak mechanic. With the discussion of mechs potentially going into normal tile sets, I could imagine Steel Path Hydron completely leveling mechs way faster than this. During this testing, we were reaching around 500,000 affinity, half a million, gained in around 10 minutes of, with very little work involved, a semi-AFK method. And for those wondering, yes, this did involve an affinity booster, and we also used a relay affinity blessing too, which didn't stack up an awful lot, but it did help regardless. So can you do this without a booster? Yes, it will just take more time. Can you also do this method solo? You can, you can just bring an Octavia. However, I'm not too sure if the affinity rates are gonna be the same, because the odds are I don't think you'll get as many enemies due to the lack of players. All in all, I just wanted to showcase an alternative method. Uh, yesterday, I basically ranked this up by doing 30 minutes a piece in an hour. Uh, formers were done, and I had my mech done within a couple of hours, so I was pretty happy about that. It was less engaging than the Fermia Fractures, but I enjoyed doing this more. Uh, there are basically better ones out there if you do start to include and involve steel path scaling, and I do realize that you can stack the beacons for wanted levels in Fortuna, but anyone has, who has done that method for like Prophet Temple and so forth, you know as well as I do that unfortunately sometimes it gets really buggy with spawns so I kept to this method for now for pure consistency. Now if you guys have found other places to train then let me know in the comment section. I'm sure there are better alternatives and I'm unsure if this method would be removed or patched or fixed or whatever it may be. It's not exactly abusing anything but I don't believe it's what DE would encourage so we'll see what the outcome is in the few more days that play out. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this method helps you train for your five to six four 
platform are mech builds. And if you did enjoy the video, and if it did help you, please leave a like or even share the video with another person. But as per usual, if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and I'll be seeing you guys again in the next video.